This is Ray's all magnetic solenoid generator. We'll watch this for a couple cycles and then I'll explain. I'm going to first define what an over unity event would be and what it would look like. First of all, if we had a setup and we move one inch, we get one inch. We move one inch, we get one inch. We move one inch, we get one inch. Move one inch, we get one inch. One inch and we get one inch. But what would happen if we moved one inch and all of a sudden we get four or five or six inches? I would call that an over unity event. One inch, we get one inch. We move one inch, we get one inch. We move an inch, we get one inch. Over unity event, we move one inch and we get five or six inches. That's what I call an over unity event, everything remaining the same. Okay, let's set this up a little bit. What I'm putting in place I call an activator. It activates the rotor. Okay? And as we see as we come around, we move an inch, get an inch. Move an inch, we get an inch. We move an inch, we get an inch. We move an inch, we get an inch. <laughs> and if we move a little bit more, suddenly we fire and we get five or six inches. I call this an over unity event. We'll go ahead and I'll demonstrate the history behind this uh, finding. I'll first go ahead and explain what a solenoid electronically is. It's a cylinder with wire wrapped around an iron plunger. If you add a power supply to it as a battery, this activates a magnetic field. The iron plunger is drawn inwardly. This takes a power supply. If we had a all magnetic solenoid generator or a solenoid, then we could possibly use no power to get the same results. One using a power supply one using no power supply. So here's how I found this. In my research, I set something similar up. I have a magnetic pack a south and a north. I put some masonry nails on there. They're 10D. And using a tester, this is my tester. I had some magnets and I put a, uh, I think these are 8D masonry nail. And I balanced it out on this side with some clay and another nail so it would move freely. As we come in to this side, we see that there's a resistance to it. I call this our in resistance to the input. When we get into the main part of the field, if we can get in through there, there we go. We have a similar effect taking place. Let's see if we go this way. Okay, I think I'm set up for this way. Yeah, okay. So here's my R in. I'm having a resistance coming into the solenoid field. But when I get into the silify, silifoid, solenoid field, it does fire pretty strongly. That's my solenoid. But as I go out to the exit gate, 
it pulls back. So they each work against itself. So I have a resistance coming in and a pullback coming out. So I have no gain. But there is this firing in between. So that's what I was trying to find and isolate. So what I did was I brought these two together like so. Instead of having walls on each side or a door that was shut, this helped me open the doors or open the gates. So we'll go ahead and check now. So before it was pushing away now it's pulling in. So that gate is open. Here as I go out the other side, instead of pulling back, it's pushing away. So that gate is open. So I have a open solenoid effect, all magnetically. I think I have this turned around here. But uh, you see what I was doing. So this is what I have set up over here. So we're going to test this and see if perhaps we can see if we have a gain for over unity. This is not the system itself, but I'm working toward a system that perhaps could have over unity and uh, perhaps power itself. But right now this is a over unity event within the cycle or within the system. Okay, and I'll be right back. This is a diagram of my setup. Okay. I'm going to, I have it set in the forward parameters right now. So it's taking a half a volt and we're firing it. Okay. And it's taking 0.02 amp, but when it fires it drops down to the 0.01. So I put that down. Now my reason is we're going to set it backwards now that it runs against the over unity firing and we'll see what that power represents. If we have no gain then that should run through just as easy as it went forward. So here we come back. Of course it stops. We're going against the over unity firing. So there's a gain right there. Okay, we're gonna bump it up. I had it up to a volt. Give it a little bit of a bump. <clears throat> I have this on a clay base. Let's get her in there. And that way you can adjust it easily. Okay. Here we are. Almost too close, but that's what I had. If I pulled around with it enough, I could get it at one volt and uh, stop it. There we go. Let's see if that'll do it. Be patient here. we 
you go. Okay, so we're hitting one volt, 0.12 amp. Okay, so my reasoning was that that's the power that's pushing the other way. So that's really my output. Okay, so. Have for my forward, I had point five. I'm sorry, it's point five volt at point oh two amp. That's point oh one watt. That's my input. That's running the small generator. Okay? And in reverse, we had it at one volt and it locked it up or resisted it at uh, point, point one two. And that's uh, 0.12 watt. So we're about 10 times the difference. So that would be my over unity effect uh, over the input. So that's uh, what I have. And we'll hook it up again for uh, the last demonstration. Okay, I wanted to point out a limitation with this design. Why not just put more of these activators going across and around and then have it uh, work by itself? Well, the problem is in doing it that way is that when you put two activators together, we have the solenoid effect going on north to south, north to south, but in between when you add another one, we have a, just the opposite, south to north, which counteracts the uh, motion. So that's why you can't, you can get one in there and it works somewhat, but uh, more than that, these build up more faster than the uh, the action going forward. So it would have to be, I was thinking, perhaps you could take a couple of these units and have a belt between them or stack them on top of each other and work it that way. But uh, at this point, I'm just showing that there is an over unity effect going by the numbers and the research that I've done so far. Hope you enjoyed this. I've been away a while. Uh, I had some health issues and uh, so I'm kind of back doing research for those who uh, do be curious about things like this, other inventors and researchers. So if you'd like to uh, visit my uh, coffee donation, you can. Uh, but until next time, happy inventing. Have a nice day.